Hello everyone. Uh, so today we are going to see how uh, we can create a, a different type of section of a beam. Uh, if you have ever been seen, uh, there are a various type of uh, uh, cross section of a beam uh, like T section, L section. Uh, that is called uh, HSS section. That is called I section. You can say wide flange and I beam, and uh, there is a C channel. So these kind of uh, cross sectional structure are used in the uh, construction of a beam, you can say trusses or uh, building construction. So uh, one uh, method you can create a profile with some standard you can follow. Uh, like uh, here you can see that uh, for the channel section or you can see the various of other options. Like uh, this is I section. So you can follow the dimension from here and you can create a standard, uh, any kind of a standard section for the beam. Uh, but there is another way in the solid work, so uh, you can simply create that uh, section uh, using a single line only. So for that, uh, what you can do, uh, so we will start our solid work. So simply go on uh, new and uh, click OK. Uh, when the window pops up, so you will see uh, there is an option called weld event. Uh, before proceeding to the our structural member, uh, we must create our uh, create a structural line so that we can create a, our structural member. So for uh, for that we can take any one of the plane. Uh, so I'm taking front plane and uh, creating one sketch. So I'm creating one line. Uh, we can take any one of the line, but it should not be it should not be the construction line. So we have to take uh, let's take a mid, mid uh, point line. So I'm just creating a random line, and uh, we'll give some dimension to this. And uh, like suppose we are giving it to some 200 length. Okay, so this is our length of uh, the beam. So uh, the uh, uh, this beam I uh, have some cross section. That cross section we need to generate actually. So we are not going to create any cross section from uh, the given dimension. We just uh, importing the importing our cross section from the uh, design library. So if you go into the element, you will see uh, there is option called structural member. So going to structural member, click on the structural member. You will see some standards is there. Uh, there is two standards available: ANSI inch and one is ISO. Uh, if you click one of them, you will find some of the Available pre-available so sections like C channel, pipe, rectangular tube, as the beams and square tube. So as we have seen here, you know, there are various type of uh, cross section. So it is showing like cross is uh, square pipe and wide flange L. Uh, so, uh, but uh, when you go into the solid box, you will not be able to find uh, uh, different uh, like these kind of sections. So what you can do is, you can just go to simple, uh, here you will find some design library. If you are connected to int your uh, internet, uh, in the SOLIDWORKS content, when you click on the SOLIDWORKS content, uh, there is an op option called Weldamin. Uh, it is to use with, uh, with this. Uh, you can see here that the online library is available for our Weldamin structure. So, if you see here, there is a very kind of uh, structure. The most of the uh, uh, most of the these profiles are available in uh, these three. If you find the BSI, uh, DIN, and ISO, you can download these three standards. There are other also available, but these most of the most commonly uh, these three are used. So for downloading, you just click simple. Uh, if you see here, it is showing indication. Just Control plus click to download this zip file. If you, uh, if you, uh, if you uh, hold your control button on your keyboard and click the mouse uh, left mouse button, then it will be directly download to your download folder. Uh, so I already downloaded it. So, so if you see here, I have already downloaded uh, these three folders. So I am just simply extracting these three files individually. Uh, so file is extracting now. Uh, so the section is completed. So, uh, but if you see that, 
uh, if you have to show your uh, files here in a structural member it should be in the design library of this solidworks folder but uh, currently uh, what we have done uh, we have extracted our file in the uh, downloaded folder itself so what we have to do we have to just uh, cut these files from here and go to the c drive and uh, go to program file and here you will find the uh, solidworks folder uh, this is solidworks cop and in this uh, you will go solidworks and select language go to english and here you will find the weldment profile in the weldment profile you just paste paste uh, this that three folder if you see that uh, this folder pasted here uh, but one thing uh, you have to do is uh, if you see here uh, this folder will appear here also uh, if you see that uh, the bsi is there if you see in the type it is showing bsi uh, why it is showing because uh, if you see here uh, extraction after extracting the bsi folder is created inside this also so what we have to do just to cut this folder and go back and paste it here and uh, same uh, do for the din also same do uh, do for the din also you open the din folder and just cut uh, this folder outside and paste here so i did uh, same for the iso also uh, so if you see that iso there are uh, um, available channels you have downloaded uh, right now and uh, then also if you see the variety of uh, sectional themes available and uh, bsi so uh, we are going to apply in the solidworks system so uh, if you go to solidworks member uh, select uh, any one of these bsi and uh, dim if you want to uh, know the difference of bsi standard and iso if you want to see the difference between these kind of uh, different standards you if you see here uh, stand for the european standard basically uh, that is used worldwide and bsi is our uh, bureau of indian standard that is uh, maintained by our uh, indian government so uh, same as for uh, same as uh, iso uh, indian standard of organization so uh if you go into the din or any one of these uh, you select the type you see that the various types of dims available uh, c channel din channel hd channel you can find the various name in the it's in, uh, internet itself if you see that i have opened uh, one of the uh, one of the site so that you can see that the different kind of profiles ip profiles uh, if you see that ip profiles there is not a uh, there is not a fillet in this corpus and ipn profiles these basically both are uh, like i sections but uh, some uh, changes is there uh, you can find that there is a uh, fillet and inside there is more curvature as compared to this and uh, this is called u section uh, you can uh, better you can call it as c section not u section so uh, same as like uh, heb h section you can say but it is more like more like similar to i section itself so uh, if you see that uh, if you select one ipn profile uh, there is various profile name is given so if you go into the folder select uh, same name ipn beam and size you can see that the size uh, is a different size is available uh, if you select any one of this like select ipn 220 so click okay oh we have to select a group so in group you select uh, that line and uh, click okay see uh, this i section is created so if you see that uh, from the uh, this is standard uh, ipn 220 uh, it has a particular it has defined its height width and whatever the fillet they provided the thickness of this uh, rib portion so uh, for 220 h is 220 and uh, b uh, this is width is 9, uh, 98 and the thickness of this portion is 
and you can say 12.2 and 8.1 is the thickness of uh, this mid portion so if you see here uh, in the section this is the sketch of this i beam so if you click on this sketch you will find all the dimension which is which is available here so by default when you select from the design library it will create uh, from the standard dimension which is available from the different source so you can see that h is 220 uh, this width is uh, 9.8 uh, this thickness is 8.10 and uh, if you see here this thickness is 12.2 as uh, mentioned here 12.2 8.1 and uh, angle is angle is given radius 8.1 is given you can find that radius is also if you able to uh, so the radius is not mentioned so by default um, uh, from the standard they have taken 8.1 itself so this is how you can create a, uh, a section of for a beam from the standard section so if you uh, uh, i can show you one more profile so let's suppose uh, for the uh, another profile ipe profile for ipe profile if you see that if you see here from the structural member uh, just go to dim uh, ip ip and the ipe beam okay so ipe beam let's let's select a uh, different ip 240 so i'm selecting the group and clicking and okay see uh, if you see this beam it has no corner fillet at, uh, as we see as we see that uh, the uh, previous beam has corner fillet and this one is uh, has bigger radius of curvature so if you see the dimension of this beam uh, you, uh, you can see that 240 is total height 120 is width and 6.2 is the thickness and 9.80 is the thickness so if you see from the standard you can see the for 240 it is 220 height and 120 is width 120 is width and uh, 6.2 is s S is what is indicating S, it is a middle thickness. So if you see the 6.2 is this thickness and same as on. So from the standard, you can directly, from the design library of the solid loop, you can directly make the beam cross section easily. So this is all about the, uh, how you can create a different kind of beam section uh, from the design library of solid work.